Say you're in DaVinci Resolve and you have one clip on your timeline, something you want to show off, something you want to highlight. Here it's just a video clip of my YouTube channel. But look at it. It's flat. It's plain. It's gross. Ew. I hate it. Now I could throw this clip into Fusion, rig up a 3D scene, add a camera with some motion, move that around, define the motion. I might even add some really cool depth of field effects. And all of that would take some time. Or I could open up my effects library, come to effects, Sterling Supply Company, click on 3D Screen Pro, and pick from 25 different presets, drag one of those right on my clip, cache that effect, and just let it do its thing. And hey, once that's cached, I have this really great 3D effect that slides through, the blur follows the camera as it pushes through, it looks amazing. And not even that, I can hop into my inspector, into the effects controls, and I have so many different options. I can control the overall scale of that animation. If I cut that by about half, then over the course of that animation, it will only push half as far. I have separate image plane controls. If I want to push that back so you see a little bit more of the image, you can do it. As well as options for the rotation of that image plane, the scale, camera controls, like the overall depth of field if you want to get really wide. And then yeah, we do have that depth blur controls. I can toggle that right off if I want to. If you just want to keep everything in focus while you slide through, that's great. But hey, if you like that depth of field and you're okay waiting for that to process, it'll be a little bit longer with depth of field, but it looks great. You got it. This is 3D Screen Pro, 25 different drag and drop presets that instantly put whatever you apply the effect to on a plane in 3D space with a camera with a pre-animated movement. These thumbnails here give you a great preview of all this different movement. We've got the camera moving every which way with the plane at different angles giving you tons of different options. And remember, on any of these, you can dive back in the inspector, change the extent to which the camera moves, where it starts, change the rotation and the orientation of the image plane, all without opening the Fusion page at all. And this is all real 3D. And especially with options like that depth of blur, that 3D system really pays off here. Hi, editing Patrick here to tell you one really important tip if you're gonna use these effects. In the custom controls for that really great looking depth of blur, when you toggle that on, uh, it looks great, that pops up, and you do have this blur size, depth of field, and z-scale options to sort of tune how much is in focus at a time, but this main focal point option is really important. And unfortunately, right now on the edit page, dragging this slider will be way too large scale of an adjustment, and the way this sample button works is really meant to work inside the Fusion page. So what we want to do is actually scroll up, click this button here to load the effect into the Fusion page, and then you can just double click on the effect, which will explode it out if you're curious about how any of these are built just load up here and then with that depth blur I'm gonna pull that up on my second viewer because if you look down at this bar at the bottom of the screen now all the way at the right of that it has Z or depth information so if I click back on my main macro scroll down now if I click and hold that sample button I'll give myself a little bit more room in my viewer now if I click and hold that sample button and mouse that to a specific spot, that area will instantly uh, pop into a sharp focus. That'll be great. Of course, you can also keyframe this uh, over any length of time you want, but just uh, if you want to manually grab that focal point, uh, you've got to hop into the Fusion page right now. This is how you want to do that. There are so many customization options, but I still thought it was important to have a wide variety of different places to start. You can pick a general preset you like and hopefully only have a small number of tweaks to make it work perfect for your specific situation. 3D Screen Pro is available now. There will be a link to my store in the description. But for those of you who have stuck around to the end of the video, I want to loop you into something pretty cool. 3D Screen Pro will be available along with all of my current paid products to my channel members at that $5 chipping in tier or above. This will be my fourth paid product. I have big plans in the future, but for right now, all of those paid products, if you choose to support me on a monthly basis through memberships, you'll get complete access to those. So if you're excited and you wanna get hands on with this pack, you've got options. Buy it straight outright or support the channel through a membership and get access to the pack as a little perk of that membership. Thanks for watching. I hope you love 3D Screen Pro and I'll see you next time.